guys oh, welcome to my youtube channel my name is jasmine aka budget treasures if you are here for the very first time welcome please make sure that you subscribe if i'm saying anything that you would want to subscribe to <laughs> and then also please make sure that you hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss any of the sauce let me tell you the sauce on this channel honey i'm just kidding but super excited for this video because this is the very first episode of our homework series yay i know it's been a long time coming and for those who have been here i'm so sorry that it's taken me this long to put together a video listen life is hard okay <laughs> it's not hard it's just that you know things are crazy and like i told you guys in a couple of videos before when it comes to change it takes me a long time to get it together okay so I'm finally getting it together, but um, this is the very first episode. So we are going to jump right on into it. Um, I do not have like a script or anything that I'm gonna go off of, but I did go to um, look at some homes and I wanna show you guys the homes that I did take a look at, the price of the homes. Um, maybe you can kind of get a feel of what I like, what I don't like, and then maybe what I'll do is at the end of the video, I'll come back just to kind of talk about all of the um, homes that we did see. But um, I just wanna let let you know I am basically for all of you guys who don't know I'm in the market for purchasing a new home and um, I live in Southern California I moved from basically the heart of LA Inglewood California um, some of you guys might know Inglewood um, but I'm an LA girl at heart um, I love everything about California I don't think I would ever want to move unless I'm you know get married and my husband's like baby we moving and then you know I'll be like okay hey, honey, where we going um but other than that Cali is where I'm at for what I think um so I am looking for a home out in California it is rather expensive out here um at least in Southern California um and so the prices that you may see um it's gonna be kind of high up there um, but in the series, I'm going to be talking about my whole process, everything as it relates to credit score, um, what you should be doing with your credit if you're looking for a home. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, real estate agents, lenders, um, all that kind of stuff, taxes, what does um, closing cost me. Um, there was a long time uh, that I would always hear people talking about closing costs and I'm like, what is that? Okay, well, what is that? And I finally know what it is, you guys. So I'm going to share because I know if I didn't know, there's a lot of other people who don't know either. Um, I mean, I'm sure you can Google it because Google is your BFF. But um, I'm your BFF too, so I'm going to share with you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the homes that I looked at today. And I will see you at the end of the video. See you soon. All right, you guys. So we're going to look at some homes in Menifee, California, and um, it's kind of far from LA, but I want to keep my options open and come on along for the ride. I got my daughter with me today, so let's get to looking, guys. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I um, had to put my mask on. I'm going to flip the camera around so that we can uh, get to touring together. All right, so this is Union Place number one. And Union Place number one, this property is 421,900. So I think I'll be able to take my mask off because I think we're probably the only ones here. So this is when you walk in. Has a nice foyer area. And it looks like when you walk over here, there is a room on this side. What a nice closet, not too bad. Uh, this is probably the carpet that it comes with, which is just horribly ugly. Um, the thing about these model homes is they stage it very nicely, um, but a lot of these things don't come with the home, like this floor doesn't come with the home. Um, nice laundry room here, nice size. Um, but you know, um, unfortunately the floor doesn't come. I think it comes with like some basic linoleum 
flooring, which is horrible. Um, I do not want no linoleum floor, okay? Okay. Um, this closet or storage area is really nice. I'm hoping that I am holding this camera, this phone. I'm filming on my phone, y'all, you know. Uh, make it do what it do. Gotta make it do what it do, baby. Um, garage is noise. And then here we come. There's a bathroom over on this side. And this looks very nice, very cute. I really like the sink here. And another good thing about Lenar homes, I don't know if I had talked about this being a Lenar home, but um, there's a lot of things that they include in the price of the home. So you just have to read these little things and it tells you like what's included in the home. So this is another room over here. And it's a nice size, not too bad. And I think what we're in is a one level um, unit, a one level, one level home, sorry. Can't get my words together. So this is nice, very nice open space. Um, very nice kitchen, look at that kitchen y'all. I want me a white kitchen like but I want a white kitchen with some real good cabinets. You can't get a white kitchen with some cheap cabinets because, listen, um, they start looking dingy. But I really like this granite. And it says, no more wall adapters, USB charging outlets. So I guess that comes with the home. Um, let's see. So not too bad. And this is from the view over this way. This is a really, really nice home. But like I said, one thing to keep in mind when you're looking at model homes, um, especially with like builders, um, none of this stuff comes with it. <laughs> All this stuff is like upgraded, you know, stuff that you would need to pay for. So walking in here is the um, master bedroom. Not a bad size. I really like this window. You can get some really good light from this window. And I love light, you guys. So this is a backyard space. Um, I love lighting, like natural light. So this is walking into the master um, bathroom and it has a nice little walkway here. And um, here's the closet. Try to back out for you guys to see. Closet, not too bad. Not too bad, not too bad. And then a separate space for the toilet. And then here is the shower. Um, I would like for my home to have a, um, a tub in it. If it doesn't, it's okay. I mean, I'm not like stuck on that, but I would like it to have a tub. So this is it. This is the home. And it's for four twenty one nine hundred. Not too bad. And once again, once you come in, it's gonna be none of that. All right, now we're gonna go to the next home. So, the next home that we're going into is Resident Three, which is four thirty five three hundred. Resident Two, unfortunately, is not. Um, it's not modeled, so we won't be able to see that one. All right, walking into this one, as soon as you walk in, you see the staircase. Um, and then you hook a right, you see a room here. This room is not that big, it's kind of tiny. So definitely probably like a guest bedroom and a guest bathroom here. And you continue walking. There is the laundry room. I really don't like the laundry rooms to be downstairs either because, I mean, are your clothes downstairs? <laughs> no, they're upstairs with your room. <laughs> and this is the kitchen. Um, not too bad here. The cabinetry is nice. Um, and then this is the living room. 
So this one I can tell you guys as far as like my taste. I'm sorry. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. Um so now we're gonna go upstairs. Alright, and then this oops <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> the stairs go right up. I like it to be like a break when you're walking up the stairs, not just walking straight up. And here is the nook area, not the nook, sorry. This is the loft area where you'd be able to hang out with family or whatever it is you wanna do with that area. This, I believe is the master bedroom. See, y'all, I'm out of breath. That's why I like them stairs. Yeah, give me a second to catch my breath. That's, this is bad. Oh, okay. This is a tiny closet. I don't know what you're going to fit in there. But, um, oh, I guess they chopped it off and put the other side over there. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then once again, here is the shower. Has a bench in there. No tub in this bathroom either. Um, yeah. This wouldn't be, and for some reason, the ceiling looks low. Does it look low to you guys, or is it just me? I don't know. This wouldn't be my first choice, or my second. <laughs> but, I mean, it's cool. The bedrooms are rather small. Um, and then in here, why well, look like this walk-in closet is bigger than the um bigger than the master bedroom and then we got this one all right so that's it for this home um i'll see you on the next one so now we are walking over to resident one this property is 427 700 Let's see. Malay just gonna open up the door for us. See if it gives us a wow factor. Oh, okay. It's all right. Gotta see a little bit more. I, I really don't like the floor. Even though, like I said, it's not gonna come with this floor, but this, this floor reminds me of like a barn. But, Okay, I like this in here. Nice. Little bathroom. Okay, so we have a room over here. <coughs> What'd you say, Malaysia? I said I oh. like that wall. The wall. This is kind of tiny in here. <coughs> What's the room size in this one? Small. Yeah. Yeah, this one's kind of small too. So I got some small rooms. I really like this little get up or whatever. Whatever that is. Um, so this is kind of like a small entryway. I definitely better not gain no weight because I'm already fitting in there now. <laughs> so this is another room. Let me try to make sure I'm getting angles that you guys can see. This room is kind of small as well. I mean, in my opinion, you would need to have like some small kids. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen when they turn teenagers. That's your laundry room. And now we're going to the bigger area, or the open space, where it has the kitchen. Not too bad, I like the kitchen. I really like the islands with the sinks. I think those are really cool. Um, and then the new thing is, I think this is it. 
yeah, this might be the trash can. I have this in my other house, um, the trash can in the drawer. Um, so, definitely, it has that. Um, so, I think that the master bedroom, I'm assuming, is off of the living room. Let's look in here. Oh, not a bad space for the bedroom. Okay. And then you look in there. <laughs> and that's the bathroom. Oh my God, I got 10% battery, y'all. The restroom. It's the bathroom in there once again, no tub. And then this is the closet. Closet is better. So what do you guys think about this one? This one's okay. I mean, it's nothing to... I don't know. It's all right. And then it has a backyard. Let's go see the next um, house because my battery's about to die. Two. This one is 452 900 <laughs> Kind of out of my price range, but we're going to look at it anyway. Um, has a little porch. You don't see porches no more. All right. Walking in here. These homes are not striking me, you guys. They're just not striking me at all. The kitchen is okay. guys this is the last home resident three this one is 470 300 yeah can't afford this one either <laughs> but why not take a look this one's out of my price range and i definitely would not stretch it either this is nice when you walk in i think i just like white you guys i'm a white fanatic I love white. I love white. That's just what it is. This is cute. Look at the chandelier. But don't look at the chandelier because if you buy it, definitely ain't going to be there when you move in. But at least it shows you the potential of what you can do. I have a closet here. I love this like paneling. That is so nice. I really, really love it. And this is the garage. But that paneling on that wall, nice. So this is the kitchen, which is really nice. Like I said, I think I just really like the white. Um, in this kitchen, the island is by itself. It does not have the sink in this island. Um, but, they have it staged really nice and I like this kitchen here and then there's the great room they don't call living rooms living rooms anymore they call them great rooms which is I don't know why I don't know why they changed it but this is the great room slash living room very nice open space here I'm loving the white y'all it's giving me all kind of life now we got some breaks and some stairs here. <laughs> Thank you.
right guys so how did you like those homes um we took a look at i believe it was five homes five or five homes um and um i really like them the, the homes were nice they were um okay we did see some of them at the end of the video where the price was a little bit up there and it was out of my budget and so those homes i definitely won't be um pursuing but one thing that I, the one reason why I like to look at those homes anyway is because based on the model, I might see something that I like in terms of paint color, um, you know, give me, and it may give me some inspiration of what I want in my home. And so that's why I take a look at all of the homes, regardless if I can uh, afford them or not. Um, now, I don't waste a lot of time as it relates to just going to go look at stuff that, that's out of my price range. It's just that um, in these particular homes, as I was already there, it doesn't hurt to go in and, and take a look just to get inspiration. Um, honestly, I wasn't too thrilled about any of the homes that we did see together. Um, there was just no wow factor for me. It was nothing that was like yeah they're nice but it just it, it was okay to me to me the homes were okay and um by them being staged up and them being okay that means that if i were to you know try to get one of those homes the ones that i could afford with it being staged down i would really be like okay it's, it's whatever you know and I don't want a home that I feel like is whatever. I want something that every time I go home, I'm just going to stand and look around like, dang, this is mine. Like, this is crazy. Like, it's mine. And that's the feeling that I want. So I'm going to continue to look and I'm going to continue to keep you guys um, on this journey with me. Uh, but thank you so much for uh, checking out those homes with me. And tell me which one did you guys like? Um, there were a total of two on one side of the street and then three on the other side, which you probably did, you know. But tell me, which home did you like? What part of the home did you like? Did you really like the kitchens? Did you like the room sizes? Uh, that was also something that I did not like. The room sizes were a little bit small. But just point out some of the things that you liked about the properties that we did see. Um, and I will continue to keep you guys on this journey with me. All right. I will see you in the next video. Go be great. Peace out.